Together with the Pakistani Secret Service, they tricked the Americans. A large portion of the American military aid fell into the hands of radical fundamentalist groups, including one led by a certain Osama bin Laden. There were also resistance fighters for whom no US help arrived, like those in Panchia, a valley in the northeast of the country. They had to fend for themselves, doing whatever they could to secure weapons. Here in the valley of Panchia, we have nothing but Soviet weapons, weapons captured from the enemy. Leading the Panchia Mujahideen was a 28-year-old commander, Ahmed Shah Massoud. With no support from the US, he managed the impossible. He resisted the Red Army, reputedly the most powerful force in the world. We have no direct or indirect relations with the Americans. During the last attack, no one came to our aid. The articles in American newspapers are lies. They aren't true. Massoud's charm, his natural charisma, and his military exploits against the Soviets made him a symbol of the Afghan resistance. He was respected as a commander and loved as a person. But apart from his strategic and military talents, he was known in Panchia for establishing a community based on respect for Islam. Even today, he remains a legendary figure. Ahmad Shah Massoud was young, tall, handsome, with fine features. He was very charismatic and well-spoken. He had a big effect on people. He was friendly. There's no doubt that he was a gifted military strategist and an exceptional talent, but I want to stress his humanistic values. He was a great humanist. He was the most peaceful man I ever knew, but he found himself in the worst of circumstances, war. Even while Afghanistan was at war with the Soviets, he was thinking about the future, about the schools that should be built, about the education of the next generation. I can only say positive things about Masood. He was intelligent, sophisticated, and he never made irrational decisions. He always kept his word, however difficult that might be. He did a great deal for his people. While Massoud fought the Red Army, life in Moscow continued as normal, 